of course, there is a moth over here. Right there. And it's connected to Willow the Wisp. So let's see today what's happening. We're gonna have a special on hold list of cooking. We're going to talk more about crystals this month as well, guys. The power, the healing power of crystals. This is a great book I picked up. I'm enjoying this. I read many through osmosis. It's so funny when someone gives me a book and they're like, Nicole, you can't read this one through osmosis. And then uh, my brother came in my room and one of my books had accidentally gotten a little liquid on it. And he's like, you're really trying to do this, aren't you? And it's just like, yeah, you know what, guys? Our Ten of Wands burdens are real, right? Our Ten of Wands burdens is real. That's why we want to drink from that cup. There it is. That's why we're doing all this work, grabbing this third eye activation. <laughs> this is connected to our third eye activation of love. What's happening here with our passions. All right. We have the Ace of Swords here, working with our root. The Emperor, there's our throat. It's expanding with the masculine. Work, it's everything we just talked about in channel messages. So we're having an ending. There's our solar plexus. We're having this ending to begin again. There it is. So the divine comes on in and helps us to knock out the devil energies. This is where we see what we need to see. We're definitely seeing it. So this is where we're back in action. We're in inaction here to see what we need to see. And it's in order to expand with the masculine. And it's of a truth with the feminine. Because as you see, it's connected to the throat. You see the feminine. This truth is connected to love. This is where we connect to our crown and our third eye. There's a reflection of love. But we're having an ending here. We're in this inaction in order to have this ending. It's connected to strength. And in strength, we're destroying in order to create. And we're working with our solar plexus here. That's why her dress is yellow. We're understanding in order to have strength, we need to work with our solar plexus. We need to work with what's happening here. We need to face what's happening here. So we're going to face it. And when we do, we expand. Here's our activation with our third eye. And this is why we're doing all this purification work. I'm just kidding. Understanding food is information. As well as we're working with our endocrine system. And we want to amp up our third eye activations. We're going to get the most out of our metamorphosis. Our transformation. The queen of wands is here. With justice and the ace of swords. Our root. Something shifts here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is where we're in synergy. There's a recalibration to the root here.
and it created synergy. But it took place in the solar plexus sacral chakra. Let's find out what it is. Guys, I, we're going we're, we're gonna go to the Prism Oracle. We're gonna go there. We need to go there. Ooh, I love how the movement card just fell out on the Queen of Wands. Yeah. She's gonna move some. She's gonna move some things, guys. She's in movement. She's moving some energy, that's for sure. She's doing this. Right? This is connected to this. Much work is always done with this movement card. That's why it's always popping on out all the time. It's always popping on out on the table. Okay. Love the Prism Oracle. It's so beautiful. It's just so colorful. It's different. It's unique. You know, it's more abstract. Yeah. You know. Appreciating all of the decks for what they... The information they bring to the table, right? Okay. What is this connected to? What's being activated here? Hello, spirit. I love it. Passion. Woo! I felt that. I felt that, guys. I feel it in my sacral chakra. But yes, because this passion is creating peace. Everything we just discussed, guys. Everything we just discussed. This passion is creating the peace, right? But it's in order for us to unfold, to have this unfoldment. And we're doing it from pain. So we're going to heal from pain to trust through strength. We're going to have strength to expand from what happened here. Okay, that's what we're going to do here. And it's going to, it's, much of it's going to be through rest. We're going to honor rest. We're going to honor the feminine here. We're going to honor the inaction. We're going to honor the surrender. We're going to honor working with the hanged man. If we got to do alchemy of the cups. Because remember, the alchemy of the cups is connected to going without that cup that's being offered to us. Okay, that cup. This has to do with our passions. We heal from pain. Pain can feel like it's bigger than us and it could come to us in many forms. It could be a physical, emotional, or psychological manifestation. Remember that after pain comes healing. How can you find healing and be gentle with yourself at this moment? With our passions. How you perceive, pa how, how you perceive passion can depend on what lens you view it through. Passion may be associated with lust and temptation, or it may suggest optimistic action. Like a fire in your belly, this card encourages celebrating your passions in whatever form they take. It takes you to acknowledge the flame that sits within you. Whether it is deep conviction, interest, or love, find what stokes your inner fire and embrace the excitement that comes along with it. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And you can see the spectrums. That's why I love these cards. There's the spectrums we're going through. It's on the same spectrum, but look at the color difference. Pain and passion are connected, but they're on a different vibration. So we're going to go from pain and to passion through healing. This is 
what we're understanding here. They're on different ends of the spectrum, guys. Okay? On different ends of the spectrum of the same color of red. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm really trying to use my masculine to explain what my feminine needs to say. I'm so telepathic, guys. Please bear with me, okay? Please bear with me. And look, it's through strength. Look, now we can look at it all. Look at look at all you can see. The different shades, the different shades of red. I'm really understanding how important it is to work with the masculine, to expand with the masculine. Our words have power and how we say things in order to explain things, that really makes a difference. That really makes a difference. Guys, let's see what the activation here is. Let's see what the activation. What is being activated here? What is the, the activation message? Your life is a canvas. Artist manifestation, creative accountability. We're becoming accountable for the how we're creating within our lives. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. So we're expanding with our gifts. And they're connected to perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. And this is the message. This is the activation. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. Take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them. Change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. We are but a speck of dust in the universe, yet we think everything revolves around us. We see the planet as ours to own and conquer. Pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for eventual eviction. Exactly. Exactly. We build fences and walls and create invisible borders. Mother Earth doesn't need us to survive, but we need her. It's time to wake up. A new perspective is urgently needed. We become so lost in our individual experience that we don't realize the most of things that we keep. That most of the things that keep us awake at night are actually distractions. We're wasting our precious time and resources fighting each other when we should be coming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in the timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the known universe. And the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe. Take a moment to see the bigger picture, to find common ground, to find deep compassion in your heart, to gain a greater perspective of humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline of your soul's existence and the timeline of all that is, was, and ever will be. And this has to do with how we're changing our perspective within. There it is. Fearful, reasonable, dedicated. Snakes. Snakes smell with their tongue and hear with their skin. They feel the vibrations of the earth and use them as their guide. They are keenly attuned to things. Much of the earth's creatures do not have access to. They are one of the most feared animals on the planet. They are misunderstood. How do they move like that? What are they hiding? Not knowing this makes them terrifying. They are a symbol found throughout human history and form a religious perspective.
The creature that gave us knowledge. Hmm. Love is what we were born with. Fear is what we learn. To face your fears seems like an obvious mantra or even cliche. But cliches exist because they are true. Whatever it is that scares you is linked to your purpose here. Find your fears and follow them. You will find your true north. So look, this is the key. This is the message. This is it. And this is what we're understanding. We're going to follow our fears. That's connected to our true north. And we're expanding there. Two creatures kissing or in love. The kiss symbolizes awakened souls, sleep, sleeping beauty, snow white, affection, emotional intimacy. We use our mouths to share our deepest thoughts and emotions as well as to nourish our bodies. Your life is plentiful with the things the kiss symbolizes, but you are still seeking. What about a divine kiss, a connection that you can rely upon when the path is unclear? When fear is gripping, I urge you to seek this connection. Sometimes in dark moments, it takes more than the material world to sustain us. We need something bigger, something greater. Find that power greater, greater than yourself. The sea, the universe, the goddess, no matter what it is, and give it some sweet affection. And that's understanding when we give into that, we're entering the flow. We're going to gi give to receive and receive to give and give to receive and give to receive. I mean, to receive to give. And we've entered this the flow. And it's, it's understanding this. It's understanding that it's a power bigger than us. The power is bigger than us. Creation. Sweet affection. So, virus. You understand the divine current of the universe. It ebbs, it flows, rises and falls completely indifferent to the human species and its agenda. You find peace in that notion. You know the peace and relief that comes from surrendering to the world's tides and admitting that you are powerless over most things. To acknowledge our finite selves among an infinite cosmos is the ultimate lesson. But acknowledging can also produce profound bouts of terror. Both of, the, both of these responses can teach us something. As Stanley Kubrick says, However vast the darkness, we must supply our own light. This one is connected to our last message and that we're understanding like there's energy that goes into the growth of life, the creation process of the expansion of life, the masculine, the passion, the firepower, baby. Okay. Hold on to that phrase to empower yourself to be fearless and satisfied with the world that engulfs you. And that's a connection to our flame, our vitality, our energy. Intestines. The main purpose of the intestine is to digest food. Connection to everything we're talking about, guys. I love it. This We're lit. This means we're following our synchronicities and signs. Thank you, divine. Okay. It keeps what is useful and lets go of what does not serve us. The waste, our digestive system. You have a tendency to hold on to things that might be disguised as nourishing but actually do not serve you. Our society is laced with myths, myths around family, romantic relationships, productivity, and the pressure to conform to the standards established by others. We are expected to do whatever is asked of us by our family, remain in relationships that might not be for the best thing for us, and work hard every day so that our lives have value. You have the chance to sift through these ideologies, holding on too tightly to what nourishes you and letting go of the rest. And that's what we're doing here. This is why this was the message. We're transforming with our perspective. Sperm. Each seminal emission has more sperm cells than the entire population of America and only one, if any at all, will reach the solitary egg cell. It's difficult not to feel like a lonesome sperm traversing an upstream swim with the odds stacked against you. We all have dreams and goals, yet they can seem so far from reach. No one can truthfully say that if you just keep your eye on the prize, you'll sure, you're, you will surely reach it. 
People are derailed every day from living out their dreams. That doesn't mean we stop swimming, but it does mean that we must pay more attention to the journey. This is perhaps best relayed in a quote by Jonathan Safran Foyer. Why didn't I learn to treat everything like it was the last time? My greatest regret was how much I believed in the future. And that's really what regret what regret is. I don't even know if I like those words. If it's not how much I believed in the future. Because I don't necessarily. It's how much we believe in the future. We That is a. <laughs> that is a manifestation. We can connect to that vibration. We can connect to that vision. We can connect to that feeling. But it's just not saying that I'm going to. Just not be in action okay it, i'm not gonna be in action I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna do anything i'm not gonna be in any sort of action with the masculine in order to create my best life it's just saying that i'm gonna just continue to live on just saying that tomorrow is going to deliver all my dreams tomorrow is going to help create you know tomorrow is just going to deliver everything i'm trying to create today and that's what we're seeing here. This is what we're seeing here. This is seeing that there's a creation process. This is understanding that the creation there's a creation process. And that's why I, I, I don't necessarily agree with those words. Belief is part of the creation process. Belief is part of our active dialogue with the divine. But it's understanding it's going to take more than belief. It's also going to take our actual actions here. Our 3D actions. And we're going to honor those through our passions. And it's part of our unfoldment process. It's part of the balance. It's part of the reality here. It's part of, part of surrendering and facing the reality here in order to have this expansion and trust. Like, yes, we can, you know, we can connect to this all we want. And this has to do with, remember, our rare gifts and artist manifestation creative accountability working with the inner child working with tenderness working with love but we also have to use the masculine and expand this has to do with healing with force this has to do with understanding we're going to use those access those 13 spheres of knowledge and now where am i applying the energy of the masculine we're seeing something here we're seeing something here this is all, all this like whole entire picture book. We talked about how, how this was a picture book. This is how this is, this is all coming together within. So we heal from karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Remember the energy of the opposites. To fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, the extremes of life. This is where we come together and this is where we're doing it right here. This is it. This is the center. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. Guys, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. We're in the center. We're expanding. This is the metamorphosis. Love, light, and healing energy sent your way to create today. I look forward to see you again when we expand with the masculine. Take care.